hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started so the first thing go to your test document and I copy the s code over here then go to your solid color Control plus v to paste so here we are using a5 paper size so go back to your test documents Control plus c to copy then select your test tool Control plus v to paste Reduce the font size. Then duplicate as you can see. What I did, you press Ctrl plus Z or you drag it to a new layer to make a duplicate. So over here, then Ctrl plus C to copy and Ctrl plus V to paste. Change the color to yellow or this orange color. And position it over here. All right. Then apply character spacing to open the space. Then duplicate it so as you can see what I did is to drag it down to new layer and that will duplicate it then go to your test documents and copy this one over here Ctrl plus V to paste. Then this is the font I'm going to use. Opera. So over here is the Opera font. Then increase the font size. Position it at the center. Then reduce the character spacing to minus 40%. Then apply vertical alignment. Go to select and deselect it. Then copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste, then go to your font and change the font to Lato, make it bold, then increase it a little, position it over here. And change the font color. Then over here, I'm going to apply red stroke color to follow the setting. Also apply shadow, follow the setting. Then click OK. Then you drag it down to duplicate it. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. 
select your text tool, highlight it, then and you paste it. And this is the font I'm going to use, Darlington Demo. Increase the font size. I will drag this one over here to position it there. And here I'm going to copy the theme. Then before I paste it, I'm going to draw a line. Hold your shift key to draw a perfect line. Then increase the size to 3% and change the line color to, um, I mean to white. Okay. Then draw a right angle. Remove the fit color and uh, make use of the stroke with the format setting. Now you rasterize it. Then draw a triangle. Rotate it. Hold your shift key while you rotate it. Then you drag it over here. Okay. Then hold your control key while you select the layer. Then go to expand. Expand it by 5%. Then select this layer and select your eraser tool and clean up the selected one all right then deselect the line over there so you can see the place we cut out now then you group it then control and change the font color to white, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Reduce the font size and position it inside here. Then I will reduce the size. Then drag the team inside the one we group and reduce the size. Then you position it over here. Okay. Use your arrow key then to drag it up. Increase it a little. Then come over here to make a copy of this. Ctrl plus C. Select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste. Change the font.
then remove the character spacing I'm going to return back the font then make it bold I think this is okay then select the line and reduce the size something like this is okay All right, so on this one, I'm going to reduce it or better off leave it this way because I'm going to put another test at the front there. So what I did is to duplicate this one. then copy this one and I will reduce this one to accommodate the test Control plus V to paste All right. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. So the next thing we are going to draw a rectangle here then position it from this area then you drag it down so the next one now then we are going to apply a gradient of a lake color select the color then I will drag it down. Then I'll pick this one and make a change to it. Then I will choose a dark red color. Over there is okay. Then go to the second area and make this one bright red you click OK. Then copy this one. Select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then make it bold. Reduce the size. Then you drag it over here. then draw a cycle it's okay increase it then you position it over here use your arrow key then to arrange it then copy this one then duplicate this one bring it down then you paste so increase the font size
so it's okay like this now they are equal then come over here to make a copy of this then make a duplicate of this drag it up and you bring it down highlight it ctrl plus v to paste then duplicate this one you bring it down highlight it then you increase the size you position it over here then make a duplicate of the selected one and drag it up so now you can bring it down then make a copy of your test then select this one highlight it ctrl plus v to paste then copy this one select it all and ctrl plus v to paste then select this one then you type 2024 greater space all right now you can reduce the size you drag it up using your arrow key so hold your sheet key while you select it and increase the size okay so now we are going to copy this one then go to your rent angle and select it to draw a rent angle then apply a gradient overlay color then change the angle to zero percent And change the color this way is okay and this one something yellow All right then this is what you will have then now ctrl plus v to paste reduce the font size Use your arrow then to drag it up and make a duplicate of this one you bring it down then make a copy of this one select your test tool while you alight it the ctrl plus v to paste increase the size of this one Ctrl plus it to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste, now reduce the font size, and increase it to balance it. then adjust this overlay color you drag this one over here all right so it's okay like this Then 
what I did is to duplicate the line over there. Now I'm going to bring this one down over here. Then reduce it. Okay. So now on our test, then select this one. So you can see by raising it up, then I'm going to create a space where I'm going to place this test over here. Select your test to a control plus V to paste and change the font to Megan Demo. Now position it and then increase the size. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to apply a drop shadow. Then follow the process and make use of this setting and click OK. So now we are going to apply the backgrounds. So now import the church logo, reduce the size. You drag it over here. And draw a line here using your rectangle tool. Then apply a yellow color. Then I'm going to reduce the wideness. Now hold your shift key while you drag it down. Something like this. It's okay. So remember to always zoom in and zoom out so that you can see the outcome of it. Then use your arrow key then to move it up. Now go back to the background. Then over here, I'm going to import this one. All right. So now after this one, what we are going to do next, then we are going to apply a layer mask, select your gradient to and blend the bottom over here. Then change the blending mode to multiply. Then go back and import this one. You bring it down, increase it a little. Then go to your filter, select block, Gaussian block. Then I make use of this setting. You click OK. Then you blend it to overlay. Apply your layer mask, select your gradient tool, and you blend the top here. Down to this position is okay. So 
So now the next one we are going to import this is this one. Then we are going to drag it down and position it over there. Then you drag it up over here. Increase it. Something like this. Then go to your filter blog Gaussian blog. Then also make use of the setting. I think it's okay like this. Or oh, this one is okay. So after this now, apply your layer mask, select your gradient to where you blend over here and over here. Something like this, okay. Okay. Now, then we are going to import this one. Then this one will be at the center over there and change the blend mode to hide hard light and blend the top and the bottom like this it's okay So, all right, so we are going to draw a cycle over here. Then you position it at the center. Then we are going to change the color to yellow color. Then hold your control key while you click select the layer. So you click on it, go to select, then modify, expand. And over here, we are going to expand it by 20%. Click OK. Then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Then convert it to smart object. Then also then increase it to 64 percent then you click ok so this is how you will have it so after now we are going to change the blend mode to luminosity then it will give us something like this then go to your source file and i'm going to import this image here drag it up then you position it somewhere there, reduce it so that it will fit into the cycle. Then right click and create a clipping mask. So here is what you have there. Now apply a layer mask, then select your brush. Make sure you are using soft brush. Then and blend the edges over here round it so by so doing we reduce the sharpness so here is what we have as the outcome now then we are going to Control it by increasing it or decreasing it the way you like it. So now we are positioning it at the center. Alignment. Okay, so... 
we are going to leave it like this for now and then later we will adjust it while we are working on it then select it then now we are going to increase it somehow like this okay i think now we are going to leave leave it like this then and increase this one okay so if you like this video please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you not mix any of my video then import this one reduce it so if you want to order any of my graphic then you can go to my fiber account the link is in the description then and make your order So now after rasterizing it, then we are going to apply this color to change the color over there. Then reduce this one backward and click OK. So now we are going to also apply a gradient overlay to our test there. Then over here, I'm going to make use of this gradient, which I have. I have used it in one of my tutorials before, so I'm using it. And I'm going to um, include the code in the description under the test document. Now follow the process and use this setting. Then also we are going to make use of the same drop shadow which we have been using before so these are the settings we use including this formal i mean the shadow we have been using before okay now click ok to apply the settings Then we are going to reduce the character spacing by 60% is okay. Then increase the size. Now apply vertical alignment to that test over there and then you deselect. So it's okay like this. These are the fonts I use. So the next thing we are going to do now, then we are going to import this light flare. Then drag it over here. Then change the bloody mode to screen. Go to your filter blur and Gaussian blur. Then reduce the size of the percentage. Then 12.5 is okay. So now we are going to apply layer mask, then select brush, then you can increase the size of the brush, 
so that we can now clean up the edges so thanks for following if you like this video please subscribe and share if you are interested in this video then you can go to my fiverr account then and make order of any flyer then you might need the link is in the description then also i use two body to optimize my video then the link is also in the description you can follow the link great account don't also forget to join the membership channel so all the links are in the description so that is it we have come to an end of this tutorial so, and here is the outcome of the design so if you like the video as like i said don't forget to subscribe share and like thank you so much for watching